It's too soon to make monuments for all we are losing, for the lack of truth as to why we are dying. Who wants us dead? What purpose does it serve? When my brother fell, I picked up his weapons and I didn't question whether I could aim or be as precise as he. A needle and thread were not among his things. I found um, this Essex home for when my brother fell. Um, it's an honor to be here. Um, thank you to the Whitney. Thank you to Great Borderwoods. Thank you to other countries. Uh, thank you to all the readers before me. Um, I've worked a long time for this day. Personally, waiting feels like a beginning. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Sister Jim. And this is a non genre Patreon. David Bichette. Mm -hmm. Sister Chip, Brother Netbone, and several of their oxymoron minions circle around my sick room swathed in paper surgical gowns, brandishing crosses, clutching Bibles, God, please don't let them sing hymns, <laughs> pestering me to recant the wicked ways that brought me here. Renounce your sins and return to Jesus, just one of the zealous flock. The truth is, I never left him, I reply with a finger snap. Well, don't you wish you'd chosen a normal lifestyle? Sister, for me, I'm sure I did. <laughs> Let the congregation work overtime for my 11th hour conversion. Their futile efforts fortify my unrepentant resolve. Though my body be wracked by capricious pains and fevers, I'm not even about to yield to fashionable gay black temptation. Mother Piaf's second greatest hit title is taped to the inside of my brain and repeated silently like a mantra. No. Should I regret? We don't. I don't regret. The hot Latino boxer I made love to on Riverside Drive prior to a Washington march. Yeah. I don't regret wild Jersey nights spent in the arms of conflicted satyrs. I don't regret <laughs> late night and early a.m. encounters with world class insatiables. <laughs> My only regrets are being ill, bedridden, and having no boyfriend to pray over me. And now that I'll never see Europe or my African homeland except in photos and a book or magazine engraved on my tombstone, here sleeps a happy black faggot yeah. <laughs> who lived to love and died with no regret, no guilt, no. I regret nothing of the gay life I have led, and there is no way in heaven or hell I will let anyone be me. Donald Woods prescription. No point in crying injustice. Shooting off in public places, they are slack handed and wet eyed with sympathy. Can confession aid the process, the fellowship of mourners propping themselves up on heartrending commiserations, raid corners, bending, blank eyes staring? Time waits for no man. It comes for you alone, you spit. Yank your flaccid member, cry envious tears for young folks caressing at your side. Strike back with amorphous ammunition. Refuse the paisley patterned despair. Take the violet in hand. Massage with the oils of your heart valve. Wash your battered spirit in the salty extract of self-pity. Shore up the heart for the thankless task of living. Breathe through your nose. Taste fruit with your tongue. Loiter at crosswalks while crowds pass by and laugh at the rush of euphoria when your mother calls you from a sweaty sleeve. Yawn loud. Make noise. Make love to the body you have. 
Now bathe it in African oils. Now dress it in royal cloth. Now lay it in a single bed and listen for it digesting raisins and bananas. Full of yourself, get ready to battle a raging fool. A venom-dripping motherfucker walks behind a green door of shame and pain and guilt and bullshit. Fight back with stuff that lasts. The melody in your head that massages your insides. The name Jesus in repetition. Toenail polish on sandal feet. Fight back with roughage, personal spinach, spiritual broccoli, call on herbs, ginseng for heartache, and sea moss coats the lining of an empty stomach, hungry for full mouth kisses, medicate the time, the hours, the moments with a mantra that grows in your temples and radiates your fibers, your busy weekends and quiet evenings, your own arms against a sea of trouble, Take them, wrap them round and round. What belongs to you, hold tight. Hold tight. Hold On the warm spring day, when Rory Buchanan died, his friend, a beautiful young black gay man, laid down on the ground outside of the funeral home and let out a gut-wrenching scream. He just laid down on the ground and rolled back and forth as he cried. He did what we all felt but didn't have the courage to do. He expressed in his actions a battle fatigue the weariness of a young community that had lost so many of its own. This might have been one month before we lost Donald Woods, and members of a black, lesbian, and gay community poured into a packed church, hot, humid, with no outlet, it seemed. Poet Asato Saint stood more than six foot five in heels, but on that day he wore a man's suit and performed an act of exorcism and protest when he assailed the pulpit, took over, said Donald Woods did not die of heart failure. He died of AIDS. And he was a proud black gay man. If you agree with me, stand up.